I'm going to make an aluminum axe head in this video. Now this is probably going to be a multi-part video because it's going to be one of the more complex projects that I've done. Uh, to start off with though, aluminum is a soft material and for that reason you don't really see knives or axe heads or anything else that needs to hold an edge made out of aluminum. It's always made out of steel. So back in the old days, before steel was readily available, blacksmiths would actually implement steel into iron so that, say, if they were making a knife, they would make the body of the knife iron, and then they would forge weld just a strip of steel along the tip. That way, they get the edge-holding ability of steel, but they don't have to use very much steel which back in the old days was more of a prized commodity than it is now. So I'm going to incorporate this exact same concept into my aluminum axe head. Let me draw a picture to demonstrate how I'm going to be doing this. So if you're looking down on the axe head, the axe head standing up, you're going to have an outline that is something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cast an aluminum axe head with a slot at the tip and at the rear so that I can then insert a piece of steel at the tip and at the rear and then that way I'll have the benefit of having steel at the tip so it can actually hold an edge and at the rear so that I can use it um, as more of a hammer. So I got my design worked out here. This is what it's going to look like from the side and from the top. So this chunk will stick in here about like that. So I'm going to cut out uh, this design and I'm going to put it on my foam here. I've got a bigger piece um, and I'll go from there. Here I am after about three hours of cutting and sanding. I've got my axe pattern ready here. Here's how the axe head is looking after the cast. It didn't come out perfectly, but it came out alright. I don't think the plaster did too great of a job keeping a good surface finish. Uh, next time I'll probably go without. And also, the cavity did not completely fill with aluminum. I'm not exactly sure why that happened, but I don't think it'll cause an issue. I'll be able to cut off the tip. It'll just have a flat bottom, which should still look fine should still be functional um, and I can just grind off any imperfections that I may have so I think it'll be usable and you can kind of see at the back I've got a good clean slot and it's undersized from the steel that I'll be using so that's perfect should be no problem in filing out the slits putting in the steel drilling some pinholes inserting the pins and I should be good to go so that's going to be all for this video. Uh, next week I'll be cleaning up the cast. I will cut down the steel to size for both the tip and the rear. And I may heat treat the tip if time allows. So thanks for watching. 
Um, as always, if you have any questions or recommendations, please leave them in the comment section down below. Uh, and please subscribe for weekly videos. Thanks for watching.